where how would, mm. how were they received? Well, the islanders uh, showed us unusual kindness. So mm. they built a fire and welcomed us, mm. all because it was raining and cold. So they were very kind. Mm. Um, how did God turn a potential tragedy into an opportunity for ministry? So uh, <clears throat> because they uh, built a fire and the poor also very diligent, he gathered a pile of brushwood mm. Mm. And as he put it on the fire, a viper, driven out by the heat, fastened itself on his hand. Mm. So when the islanders saw the snake hanging uh, from his hand, they said to each other, well, this man must be a murderer. Mm. Uh, even though he escaped from the sea, the goddess uh, justice has now allowed him to live. So they expected mm. this uh, Paul to die mm. uh, soon being mm. poisoned by this uh, viper mm. but pull shook the snake off mm. into the fire and suffered no ill effects mm. so this reminds me of jesus promise even mm. if you um, drink poison you know, nothing will harm you um so and then the people expected him to die but uh, after waiting a long time and nothing happened they mm. changed their minds and uh, said, now Paul was a god. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they are very <laughs> dramatic. He was mm. a murderer and then now he's a god. Okay. Mm. So, and then uh, <clears throat> the, there's a estate nearby. They belong to uh, Publius, mm. the chief official of the island. And then he also welcomed uh, all these people and showed the uh, you know, generous hospitality for three days. Mm. And then his father was sick in bed and suffering from fever and dysentery. So Paul went, went in to see him and uh, after prayer placed his hands on him and healed him. Mm. So because of when it happened, all the rest of sick people came mm. and were cured. Mm. And they honored Paul and his companions in many ways. Mm. And uh, when they left, they furnished uh, mm. all the necessary supplies. So they had a very uh, happy, uh, after this uh, being uh, alive from mm. the storm, uh, mm. they had a good uh, time of rest. Mm. Uh, I don't know how many, you know, three days or how many days, but uh, uh, they had a time of rest. Also, they ministered to uh, the people of Ireland. Mm. How many days? Three months? Oh, let's see. Uh... Uh... Yeah, uh, 11, uh, verse 11, after three months. So oh, I think I that mean. for three months, they stayed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we can look at this uh, map. Uh, it's a uh, mortar. Yeah. There was the big storm, hurricane, and finally they arrived in Malta. Uh, it's a small uh, island. Malta means honey. Mm. <laughs> I heard that um, there are many bees, bees, beekeeping uh, in the island. So it was very famous. <laughs> Honey. Uh, <laughs> um, what do you think of uh, their arrival in the Malta? <laughs> Is there any uh, will of God? The uh, yeah, ship. Uh, even though the ship was wrecked, but uh, yeah, two hundred seventy-six prisoners and soldiers arrived the Malta. Mm. I think that God wanted to evangelize Malta. Uh, mm. They should be saved. Mm. So uh, there was a miracle. Paul, he was uh, tasted by the viper, uh, but he was not killed. He, he was alive. So mm. uh, this event revealed the servant of God uh, can be protected from any evil poison. So all of them were surprised. Wow, he's a God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but Paul did not exhort himself. He probably uh, evangelized gospel, and, and he uh, helped uh, the sick people, uh, and the leader leaders of father was healed by his prayer, and Luke was the doctor. So probably mm -hmm. the doctor Luke helped uh, some sick people and Paul prayed honestly. So uh, they uh, there was the miracle. Miracle happened. Uh, so most of the people became very friendly to Paul. And yeah, there is a good church now. It's a Paul Memorial Church. Yeah. So... The the island became a uh, Christian island. Now it's one of the good courses for mission trip. Yeah. So uh, God does not ignore any person. Uh, and especially I can learn that Paul became a shepherd in that situation. Uh, he was very tired, exhausted. Uh, however, he uh, wanted to help uh, the prisoners with making fire and helping others. And any comment? Uh, question number one. What can we learn? Uh, uh, according to tradition, mm. uh, Publius uh, accepted the gospel at the time mm. and he became the first elder mm. of the island of Malta. Mm. Uh, as uh, uh, Shepherd uh, Nehemiah came, uh, there is still a memorial church for Paul mm. on Malta Island. Mm. So uh, it is said that the area has been 100 percentage evangelized. Mm. So uh, the uh, potential tragedy. Mm. Uh, gave them opportunity for missionary. It's God's will. Mm. It's God's mm. plan. Mm. Uh, mm. But uh, always uh, with them and God uh, fulfilled mm. uh, their ministry mm. with uh, his help. Mm. Amen. I think about another point from another Different point. Mm. Uh, Malta is uh, a place of uh, deception and mm. uh, encouragement. Pastor uh, mm. um, uh, said, uh, mentioned uh, Malta uh, means uh, honey. Mm. Uh, nowadays, Malta is uh, famous for honeymoon place. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, President Bush <clears throat> um, and uh, Gorbachev, mm. <clears throat> they uh, met there. Oh, uh, really? Mm. Yeah. And Gorbachev uh, uh, promised uh, uh, his uh, opening mm. Russian, mm. Russian nation. Mm. <clears throat> uh, God uh, sometime uh, gave us the hurricane. <clears throat> uh, God permitted us a hurricane, but sometime God uh, wanted to give uh, rest, mm. rest and uh, encouragement and mm. uh, this this reception, mm. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, God. Uh, mm gives us the suffering mm. and uh, uh, joy uh, <laughs> in turn. Mm. So, wow. God is the uh, God of encouragement. Mm. Mm. Wow. Good point. After <laughs> big storm, uh, very sweet honey. <laughs> if we uh, are patient, uh, during the big storm, like a hurricane, uh, God prepares us a wonderful honey. Wow. Good message. Good message. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Yeah. Another comment? Sometimes uh, we experience the unexpected, uh, mm. uh, like uh, bite or attacks. Mm. Uh, it is it uh, can be mm. a good opportunity mm. to uh, <clears throat> reach to uh, <clears throat> uh, reach the gospel. Preach mm. the King of God and the mm. God's power. Yeah. So the dangerous situation mm. can be changed. Mm. Uh, so, <clears throat> God's uh, help, mm. God's. Uh, mm. uh, uh, after, uh, this is uh, uh, four years ago. Uh, I was complained by some as a sister. So it is like it was like uh, a vapor, viper's uh, attack. Viper's attack. <laughs> <laughs> Poisonous. <laughs> yeah. Complaining. <laughs> so, uh, she was hearted, wounded by uh, me mm. about uh, 15 years ago. Mm. So, she uh, did not forget this uh, heart, <laughs> so <laughs> she could not sleep at uh, midnight. Mm. So she called me, yell, and uh, swear, mm. swear at me. So mm. uh, it is. Uh, uh, it was very painful for me. Mm. So. I went to uh, visit her. Mm. So for two hours, uh, I asked her uh, forgiveness mm. for my fault. Mm. But she did not forgive my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, she rebuked me and demanded <laughs> uh, uh, reparation, pesangum. <laughs> it is very shocked. So I have been <clears throat> giving her a reparation oh. uh, of uh, uh, fifty thousand won from us. Oh. Yeah, about uh, the uh, four years uh, now. Oh. So this accident was very shocking me and uh, being beaten by a poisonous uh, snake. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> at the time, I, I, I uh, read, uh, I studied the uh, Sermon of the Mount. So mm. uh, Matthew uh, chapter 5, verse 22. Purity. Mm. Yeah, 22. But Anyone who says you fool will mm. be in danger of the fire of hell. Mm. So it was uh, the warning for me. Uh, so I accepted this uh, uh, word. So I repent to the treating people carelessly. So, mm. uh, so this uh, through this accident, I uh, changed my mind. Mm. So. I uh, try to respect everyone. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, so I, I uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, try to be uh, a shepherd uh, like Jesus. Mm. So I, I, it is in, uh, because of this uh, accident, I, uh, yeah, would uh, I I uh, uh, improvement my uh, face, mm. and then uh, so another missionary uh, 
so helped me. So he heard this story, mm. and uh, so he want to uh, cope with me mm. to repay the uh, reparation. Mm. So mm. he has been sending me mm. so every uh, month mm. two hundred dollars. So <laughs> <laughs> I so I I. I uh, felt the pain, but uh, I I uh, gained the material benefit uh, mm -hmm. rather than losses. So <laughs> God needed God needed me spiritually and blessed me uh, materially and uh, uh, so spiritually. Wow! Uh, through the pain of uh, being beaten by. Mm -hmm. Like uh, as the poisonous uh, snake, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is uh, the opportunity mm -hmm. to improve my uh, face, and mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, much money mm -hmm. <laughs> because of this uh, <laughs> accident. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay, I... Doctor Jose, any any comment? A patient treat him uh, can turn to experience choice. Mm. Mr. Joseph said. Mm. Anna Sayuk from Ukraine shared her testimony after ISBC that uh, she didn't come to ISBC because of the war and very tired. Mm. And if uh, uh, and it's not easy to go, mm. but because of her children or uh, they are going, so she had to come. Mm. But airplane was not allowed. No mm. airplane from Ukraine. Mm. So they drove Poland to Poland. Mm. And crossing the Poland, she experienced the tragedy uh, that she had an old pass printed out. Mm. The law changed, and she she took the uh, taking a picture showing before it was okay. Mm. They said from yesterday, no one can pass without printing out the pass. But in the middle of the line, mm. uh, in the front line. Uh, where they could go, five people driving. So they asked, asked, but no way. And come back to Ukraine, it takes many, many hours. And come back again. They wrote uh, seven hours or something, they were waiting in the mm. front. And finally, Cross, they were caught. You should mm. go back. So ah, they couldn't go. They couldn't come back. Mm. So they stopped, cry out to God. Mm. No, we must go. Mm. We cannot go back. We cannot come. And in the middle of the night, no, oh, they cry out. And. <clears throat> <laughs> as soon as they finished mm. their prayer, um, not Poland, but Ukraine, soldiers that uh, what's going on, something. Mm. We have this problem. We have nowhere to go to print out. Wait. <laughs> and they were showing uh, one uh, closing uh, shop knocking. And the Ukraine soldier knocked the shop and they got up and they said, we need this to print out. Mm. So they used this uh, uh, frontier uh, the shop <laughs> and print out. Mm. And they had to make a line another seven hours. Mm. But the Poland soldier could say, you are just here and you come back. Yes, because of the, this uh, certificate. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
I, I remember Tess. Mm. Yeah. Oh, she had a potential tragedy uh, in the middle of the night with uh, four or five members. Uh, and then I, uh, she already saw the glory of God, she said. Mm. Before coming to ISBC, mm. she experienced mm. the Lord Jesus has been with us. Mm. As he promised that um, I will be with you. Mm. And so she wrote a testimony about ISBC. Mm. On the way, she saw the glory of God. And then mm. she really saw the glory through the messages and coming back. Mm. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's move on. Question number two. Um, Mission Wesley, Wesley John, would you answer question number two? <clears throat> okay. Read verses uh, 11 through 16. Mm. Trace their journey from Malta to Rome. How did God encourage Paul along the way? Mm. What is Paul's situation in Rome? <clears throat> uh, so let's just go briefly. Mm. Uh, from Malta, uh, and they, uh, uh, went aboard the Alexandrian ship. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> and then, put in the Syracuse of Sicily. Mm. And the spend the stay there three weeks, and then from there they set sail, arrived at Re Regium, the south of Italy. Mm. And next day, south wind came up, and then on the following day, we they reached uh, Putoli, mm. which is a uh, uh, meet. Mm. Getting closer to Rome, mm. and then there they found some brothers and sisters who invited them to spend a week with them, mm. and then they went to Rome. Mm. Mm. So how did God encourage Paul along the way? So his brothers and sisters uh, encouraged them and. Uh, some brothers and sisters from <clears throat> uh, the, yeah, from the different towns around the Rome. They came and uh, they came to meet mm. meet them, Paul and uh, companion. Mm. Yeah, so that was encouragement. And uh, what was uh, Paul's situation in Rome? Uh, Paul was uh, thankful, mm. or thanked God, and was encouraged by them. Uh, he came in chains, but uh, he found the brothers and sisters there. Mm. And then um, Paul was allowed to live by himself mm. with a soldier to guard him. So he was allowed to live himself uh, so he had some freedom mm. to preach the gospel teach the bible mm. yeah yeah okay thank you uh paul uh please look at this map uh it's a uh, mortar uh, another place is syracuse syracuse uh there's the University of Syracuse in America near New York, is right? Syracuse University. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very famous university. I heard about that. Mm -hmm. I heard that uh, Archimedes, the famous uh, uh, mathematician, Archimedes, from this uh, Syracuse. Yeah. And later, Lacum and Messing and uh, three Terranius Hotel and later Rome. And uh, when 
Paul arrived there, some brothers and sisters, Christian brothers and sisters, uh, came to Paul to welcome uh, Paul. Uh, how they could be Christians before uh, Paul arrived in Rome? How? Already they were Christians in Rome before Paul arrived. Uh, right. At the uh, Pentecost mm. uh, festival, mm. uh, many people from 60, 16 areas, mm. including Rome, mm. they came to uh, Jerusalem mm. and they heard about gospel from through Peter and the apostles. Mm. And uh, in uh, Act 8, chapter, chapter 8, mm. um, because of uh, great uh, persecution, mm. many Christians uh, scattered to uh, all Judea and all over the world. Mm. Uh, so maybe some person to, came to Rome. Mm. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, Acts chapter 2, many diaspora uh, Jewish people visited uh, Jerusalem. At the time, there was the Pentecostal. So they uh, saw the great work. So they went back to Rome. And uh, because of the uh, great persecution, they were scattered. And another uh, assumption, their background. So if you look at the last chapter, chapter 16 of Romans, mm. actually, we can see that uh, there were many house churches mm. at Rome. Mm. And one of them was uh, house church of um, Priscilla and Aquila. Mm. So uh, they, uh, they actually came to Corinth and uh, they were discipled by Paul. Mm. And then they went back to Rome. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they were major uh, co-workers of mm -hmm. Paul uh, at, at Rome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. There are many businesses. Uh, Rome was the great city, the capital city of uh, Italy. So uh, many businessmen come and go. So uh, they uh, list, uh, might listen to the gospel when they stay in Corinth and Ephesus, so they go to Rome. So they uh, stayed there and they made the small uh, Christian group. Yeah. And several years ago, Paul arrived there. Paul wrote the, the Ephesus of Romans from Corinth. Uh, Paul already uh, heard that there are some Christian community in Rome. But uh, they did not know exact uh, their uh, faith was imm immature. So he felt uh, it is necessary to make a, a strong uh, foundation of the gospel. So he wrote the Roman uh, Romans. So uh, they received the Romans, the letter, uh, Paul's letter. They were so happy. And the original writer of Romans came. Wow, we want to see him. Mm -hmm. So they went there and accepted Paul with joy. It's a great encounter, a wonderful encounter, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we meet our missionaries in the ISBC, we, we are very happy to see them. Wow, a uh, long time no see. We uh, yeah, had a good time like that. So mm, some accepted the Rome uh Paul uh with warm heart uh, yeah according to verse uh uh 15 uh at the sight of these people Paul thanked God and was encouraged yeah in the Korean church history uh many people think that the Undo the Anapangela was the first uh Mm, missionaries, but when they arrived in Jemulpo, they were surprised that some Cre uh, Korean Christians uh, had 
Bible. Uh, mm. It was translated uh, into Korean uh, language, the Mark's Gospel, Mark's Gospel. Because Yi Seung, uh, he went to Japan and he accepted the gospel. And he came back. Uh, at the time, he met uh, some American missionaries and he accepted the gospel and he brought the book of Mark and he translated it. So he spread some uh, gospel messages. So, uh, yeah, Undo Din Apenjala uh, was surprised. So, uh, God is working. God has worked uh, mightily. Yeah. Brother, <clears throat> Brother Yisoo Jung mm. asked the underwood mm. to come to Korea. Oh, instead of yeah. India. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. uh, right. So, yeah, underwood wanted to go to uh, India. Mm. But, yeah, so he underwood changed it. His plan, mm. Mm. and uh, he came to Korea. Mm. Yeah, so God worked uh, mightily uh, in order to evangelize Korea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other comment? Question number two. Uh, Paul's journey. Some places. And, yeah, okay. The Go ahead. UBF, uh, um, have many uh, chapters and uh, missionaries chapters number um, uh, 335 chapters in the world. In the world. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we uh, always uh, be welcomed by people mm. uh, at mm -hmm. every airport. At mm. Every airport, mm. they come to us and mm. we uh, <laughs> encouraged, mm. encouraged by them. Mm. Okay, yesterday night, my son Sean uh, called me, and he went to Germany uh, because of his the company's trip. So in the Frankfurt, he met one uh, UF missionary, missionary Joshua Kim, uh, Düsseldorf, and yeah, and he is friendly with me. So uh, uh, my son said that, oh, I met the missionary Joshua Kim. Do you know him? Yeah, I am so. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, another shepherd, uh, shepherd uh, Joseph. Uh, uh, Yoni uh, Intern Shepherd Joseph Cho, mm -hmm. Joseph Cho, Joseph Cho's son in law is the same uh, company's uh, member, my son. So they go there and yeah, they are Yoni uh, Shepherds, they each other. So he was very pleased with uh, uh, them they met. So we can see many UF Shepherds here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a God, God's work, yeah. When I went to Portland, <laughs> this is Caleb, separate Caleb, took us to Pemagodi, the uh, White Mountain uh, fighting place, mm. and we were very much moved. How much uh, the two side soldiers back and forth mm. and died and and came back, retreat, and go mm -hmm. back, and retreat. Uh, I heard the blood of the soldiers flow like the river. Mm -hmm. Then finally, the one who uh, got the uh, top of the Pengma Hoji, the high place, mm -hmm. put a flag and uh, this shows that we got this place finally three days or mm. many days. Mm. All is going to Rome. It was not just uh, he arrived there by a boat or ship. Mm. He prayed for this mm. since he was called some 10 years ago or something. God said you must go to Rome or mm. and 
through Rome, all nations from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the end of the world, to all Gentiles. But for this, you must go to Rome mm. and then to Spain. So Paul was, uh, he uh, surely like a uh, thought spiritually. When the ship wrecked, she might have thought, oh, my going to Rome, nah, is uh, a broken dream. Mm. But then came back. When he was uh, beaten by the viper, he might have surprised all oh, before I go to Rome. Mm. I would die because viper is poisonous and no one will be safe when mm. he's hit by the viper. But likewise, I think uh, how much he prayed and trembled and, uh, and finally, he got raw, and several people coming out welcoming. I think his joy and uh, victory mm. is not over his victory, but the victory of a whole Christian mm. Christianity mm. is now from Rome to the whole world. Mm. And he was the first person who put the flag, mm. Christ, now in Rome. Mm. So I think. Uh, his joy was uh, uh, beyond mm. and give him God. Mm. And uh, please use this first step, mm. more, small by small, to whole nations. Mm. Amen. Okay. Yeah. According to verse uh, 16, when we got to Rome, Paul was allowed to uh, live by himself with a soldier to guard him. Yeah. Uh so now uh, in a day uh mm, uh alternatively the soldiers mm -hmm. uh changed you know to take uh charge of Paul. Mm. So uh yeah, God sent one to Bible teacher to the student mm -hmm. to Paul. <laughs> Every day he could serve three or four soldiers through one to Bible study. Yeah. So Philippians chapter 1, verse 13 says, as a result, it has become clear uh, throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chain for Christ. Because mm -hmm. Paul was chained, uh, chained the soldiers uh, should come and uh, the soldiers could not escape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the soldiers should listen to Paul's message. Uh, it is the God's uh, scheme, God's strategy. Because of it, many Roman soldiers could be uh, evangelized. Wow. Uh, how can Paul preach the gospel in Rome? But God sent uh, soldiers, God made a spiritual environment. We don't know what to do for evangelizing the foreign country, but God preserved all things for the work of God. So we did not uh, be afraid. God make all the circumstances for the glory of God. If only we obey God, God will send many hopeful ship yeah, uh, beyond our expectation, our uh, yeah, will. It's God's God's uh, strategy. Okay, Amen. question number three. Uh, Dr. Hosean, would you answer question number three? Dr. Hosean, would you, oh. question number three. Okay, read verses 17, 20. Three days later, he called together the local Jewish leaders. When they had assembled, Paul said to them, my brothers, although I have done nothing against our people or against the customs of our ancestors, mm. I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. They examined me and wanted to release me because I was not guilty of any crime deserving death. Mm. 
The Jews objected. So I was compelled to make an appeal to Caesar. I certainly did not intend to bring any charge against my own people. Mm. For this reason, I have asked to see you and talk with you. It is because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this, with this chain. Mm. How did Paul begin his ministry in Rome? <clears throat> oh. He had taken long trips, so he must take some rest one week <laughs> or one month. Mm. Three days later, he called together the local Jewish leaders. Mm. He reminds me of the Nehemiah who arrived at the uh, Poland wars. Yeah, as soon as he arrived, he began mm. to go around and see and begin to work. Mm -hmm. uh, the good worker uh, immediately uh, begin to work. Mm -hmm. Three days later, he called together the local Jewish leaders. Since he could not go, he gathered local <laughs> Jewish leaders. Mm -hmm. I had a missionary, Shepherd Nehemiah, as soon as he became a general. A Korean director, he began to uh, call together or he was going. Also, Pastor Wan, as soon as he took the general directorship, the next month he went to all Latin American countries to see, then Africa, now to Asia. So is, uh, uh, at the time they had no uh, June meeting. It was <laughs> very, very good. Come, please. Mm. They, they can. How did he explain his imprisonment to the Jews? Mm. He was thinking um, they might misunderstand him. Mm. Uh, uh, he began to explain that he was innocent, mm. but he was arrested in, uh, to the Romans, mm. and the Romans wanted to release him mm. because they found no guilt mm. in Paul. But the Jews said he must die. Hmm. So Paul, either he had to die or uh, he had to repair. Hmm. Emperor, I, I want to receive judgment by emperor, the only way. Hmm. So that's why I'm here to receive emperor's uh, final judgment. Hmm. So please understand, I didn't want to uh, any charge, bring any charge against my own people. Mm. It is not against my own people, but uh, that is the only way that I could survive mm. and not be killed. For this reason, he said, I have asked to see you and talk with you too. Then he said, it is because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. Mm. He didn't explain what is the hope of Israel. Mm. Uh, he quickly turned mm. that, uh, the way to bring Jesus and the resurrection mm. and the hope of all nations or uh, Jesus mm. uh, behind all this. It was, uh, because of the hope of mm. Israel. Mm. Amen. Thank you. Yeah.
Uh, Mr. Rashid, what do you think about the hope of Israel? He said that it's because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. You know, hope of Israel, mm. uh, coming of a Christ, mm. or it could be, uh, I mean, it, it could be broad sense. Mm. Um, in other places, he talked about hope of Israel, the resurrection, right? Mm. Uh, which is uh, through Christ. Mm. So, uh, this is a really powerful statement. Mm. So, I was thinking yesterday, Wow, you know, uh, we, as uh, all of you, we work hard on Sundays, right? <laughs> Sundays, Sundays a day of rest. Uh, usually, Sunday is a day of rest, but uh, shepherds and the pastors work hard, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, dog tired, right? <laughs> if we don't do it, uh, we could do just rest and relax, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. But uh, because we uh, work hard and get mm. out tired and, mm. you know, our God's block, uh, mm. find the comfort, find the strength, find the hope, right? So the, the, here is the contrast. Mm. Uh, hope and chain. Mm. Hope for Israel and chain for Paul, right? So, mm. uh, you know, as we suffer, get tired, while uh, sheep find the rest, find mm -hmm. the hope. So they, that's the it's way of cross, following Christ, mm -hmm. way of cross. Uh, so there is a hope. There is mm -hmm. hope in this way of cross. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we have to have uh, this clear uh, picture, clear mm -hmm. vision of what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We suffer. But hope of America, hope of Korea, right? Mm, yeah. When I look at uh, you know what's going on in America, really I don't find hope. Mm. You know they make lots of money and uh, you know, but there is uh, no hope. Like uh, mm. people are so wealthy. Like Elon Musk is very uh, <laughs> famous. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this guy is a genius. Uh, he's uh, in his 50s and he have uh, the world richest person. Mm. But there's uh, no hope in making so much money or mm. technology. Same thing in um, Korea, K-pop, Hallyu, mm. whatever. Mm. It's, uh, it's good, but uh, there's uh, no hope. Hope mm. is uh, in our chain. Hope mm. is uh, in our chain. Mm. Hope of Korea is our chain, huh? mm. so this a uh, proper, proper mm. state mm. Paul. Yeah. So, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, between hope and chain is, right. is <laughs> not a match, <laughs> right, right. because of this hope I'm chained. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, she find the uh, hope and uh, shepherd find the chain. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, Jewish people in Rome might have thought, what? Mm. Hope of Israel? Mm. It means Roman Empire that is dominating Israel. Oh, God is doing something like David mm. Kingdom. But they can misunderstand what. Mm. Paul was a really good narrator, good speaker. Mm. Mm. He didn't give the answer first, but he said in verse 20, uh, 23, explaining mm. from the whole Bible, he's talking about hope of Israel mm. later, but mm. he was uh, warming up. Mm. I was in mm. because of the hope of Israel. Mm. And people said, what hope of Israel? Mm. Each person think differently. Hope of Israel is different. Mm. Getting good out or going back to, or but he said, yeah, mm. so that they may come back or yeah. and he will talk. Mm. You know, yeah. I think uh, the Paul Paul is a great poet. Look at this. This is poetic. Mm. The hope of Israel and uh, the contrast between hope 
and mm. chain, you know. Mm. So it's a beautiful poetic expression mm. of it. Mm. Amen. When I look at reflect uh doc, late Dr. Uh, Joseph Chung, he worked very hard and he uh, his hope was to uh preach the gospel uh, uh, regardless of his physical condition, even though he suffered from a cancer, uh, he prayed earnestly for the ISBC. Yeah. And I heard that he donate, donated his uh, his house. Uh, probably there, his his children his children donated his house for the World HQ. Probably uh, he was not interested in the earthly wealth. Uh, he wanted to uh, serve one to Bible study and plant the God uh, Word of God in the hearts of many uh, people in America and Uganda. Uh, in Korea, yeah. So his hope was very pure and heavenly, spiritual. So uh, I was so amazed by our missionaries uh, living hope, living hope, not uh, earthly hope. Uh, many uh, people are uh, chained, chained with uh, ambition, greed, and pleasure seeking, yeah. So they are miserable. But Paul was changed, chained because of the living hope, living hope, uh, resurrection and evangelizing the whole world. So we need uh, living hope, I think. Yeah. You know, okay. I think that's yeah. the yeah. Yeah. that's the really fundamental problem of Korean church. Mm. So, uh, they, uh, you know, church grow, grows big and the pastor also wants to go become rich. Church, mm. beca as church becomes rich and mm. I become rich. That's the mm. pastor's idea, right? Mm. Uh, as I be, make a big church, I also become uh, big and wealthy. Uh, that's mm. the concept. But mm. Paul is totally different. Uh, church grows, uh, you find hope, mm. but I, uh, I, I get the chain. No? Mm. I think that's a really uh, real Christian, uh, really gospel centered, mm. and that, that's I'm I really uh, pray for Korean church. Mm. Um, this uh, corruption, mm. it's like, uh, uh, it's like a uh, wealth and mm. prosperity gospel mm. Mm. like a Joel Osteen in America you know just mm. so shameful mm. but you have uh, step shepherds are not rich <laughs> right 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 I'm, I'm talking about the uh, Korean churches Korean <laughs> church yeah. I'm very thankful for the UBF general UBF yeah. When you come to uh, you know UBF, uh, mm. they usually don't brag about their cars and mm. you know big house. And, you know, one time Dr. Lee came to my house because we had a housewarming party, mm. and wow, oh, he said, "Oh, your house is so nice, and <laughs> you have a better house than I do." <laughs> so um, that was in Chicago. Um, Anyway, so pastors should live in the smallest house among the church. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, you be pastor, you be shepherds are doing very well. They are, mm. Yeah, they are poor, and uh, mm. I'm mm. worried that they are too poor. I guess <laughs> too poor. <laughs> okay. So what is your what is your uh, what is your like what is it? Uh, a retirement plan. Do you guys uh, have a retirement plan? <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> God yeah. will take care of you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Uh, Joseph Lee, would you answer question number four? Uh, yes. Read verses uh, 21 to 23. What is the Jews? of Rome know about Paul and about the Christian movement. Mm. 
Mm. Verse 21. Mm. Uh, they have not received any letters from Judea mm. concerning Paul. And they had never heard any brother mm. say anything bad about Paul. Mm. And uh, so they knew that they would face opposition mm. everywhere regarding this sect. Mm. Uh, they mentioned uh, uh, this sect. It, mm. it is an, uh, not <laughs> opinion. Mm. So they probably had a negative attitude toward mm. the Christianity preached by Paul. Mm. The next question, what opportunity did they have to preach to them? Mm. Verse 23, mm. from morning till evening, he explained and declared to them the kingdom of God and tried to convince them mm. about Jesus from the Law of Moses and from the prophets. Mm. Uh, Paul had the opportunity to preach to many people mm. who came to his house from morning till evening. Mm. And what was his message? Uh, Paul's message was uh, the kingdom of God. Mm. And uh, uh, mm. So, uh, verse uh, uh, 23, mm. he explained the, uh, and declared to them the kingdom of God mm. and tried to convince them about Jesus from mm. the law of Moses and from the prophets. Mm. So, mm. Paul uh, uh, tried to convince them mm. about Jesus from the law of Moses and from mm. uh, the prophets. Mm. Uh, Paul taught that, that Jesus is the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies mm. about the Messiah. Mm. And uh, yeah, so he uh, <clears throat> uh, Emphasize the kingdom of God. So, mm. uh, verse, uh, mm, yeah, so, uh, key verse, uh, yeah, so he, uh, which he, mm. he proclaimed the uh, <clears throat> kingdom of God. Mm. Yeah, so, he always uh, mm. uh, preached the kingdom of God. So, mm. Uh, the kingdom of God is the most important uh, uh, message mm. for uh, all uh, people. Mm. And so kingdom of God, uh, <clears throat> so it is a fundamental, the, mm. ultimately mm. our hope. Amen. In, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, without the kingdom of God, mm. uh, Men, all people are ruled by sin mm. and death. Mm. Uh, they uh, would be slaves of the devil. Mm. You know? The kingdom of God uh, is the most important mm. uh, the message. Mm. So yeah. He uh, mm. which is the kingdom of God. Amen. Wow, Paul uh, persuaded the Jews uh, about the kingdom of God from morning to evening. Wow. Uh, how old he might be at the time? Probably over 60. He was not young. He was old and he was sick. According to the movie Paul, uh, yeah, he has many sickness. Uh, his uh, the prison was not good condition. 
even though it was allowed, but uh, yeah, bad, bad condition. But very diligently, uh, he worked a lot from morning to night uh, to evening. Yeah, mm. uh, in order to explain uh, what is the uh, purpose of the robe of Moses and the prophets, even though many Jewish people uh, knew that the contents of uh, Book of Moses and prophets, uh, it uh, pointed out the Messiah, Christ Jesus, but they did not match, uh, just as Paul did not uh, understand uh, the meaning. But Paul met the risen Jesus, and he acknowledge the secret oh all the uh book of old testaments uh, is the overshadow of jesus christ through jesus christ uh com coming of jesus christ was uh, realized uh, so he uh, persuaded them to acknowledge the secret of gospel yeah uh, I uh, I'm so moved and amazed by his attitude, his passion to uh, persuade uh, unbelievers. When we meet unbelievers, we try to preach the gospel. If they uh, if they do not respond, we give up. Oh, it's hopeless, yeah? hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> but we should persuade from morning to uh, evening. Uh, until they may understand the meaning of gospel. Uh, yeah. It's a very passionate with compassion uh, uh, toward uh, unbelievers. Mm. But what, yeah, okay. Question number five. Uh, Shepard Galeb, Galeb, can would you answer question number five? Mm. It was uh, 24 to 29. Mm. What is the response of the Jew? Uh, some mm. were convinced by uh, Paul mm. said it, but mm. others would not. Uh, they didn't believe. Mm. Uh, what was Paul's final statement to uh, them? Um, Paul gave them a mm. final statement. Mm. Uh, he quoted uh, prophet uh, Isaiah's uh, uh, statement. Mm. Uh, how did the four view their rejection? Um, yeah, mm. they uh, knew about um, us. Some many uh, much uh, uh, knowledge mm. um, about uh, Old Testament, mm. but uh, didn't realize mm. the theme of uh, um, the Old Testament. Mm. And, uh, um, yeah. So Paul uh, declared uh, the direction of mm. his ministry. Mm. Uh, I will turn to the Gentiles. Mm. I will preach the gospel to Gentiles. Mm. And they will listen. They will listen. Mm. Uh, maybe listen uh, is the meaning. Uh, it's not uh, only hearing, but uh, accept. Mm. Accept. Mm. Uh, uh, Gentile people they didn't have uh, much knowledge mm. uh, about own uh, Bible or the mm. Old Testament, but uh, I I think they uh, uh, they were humble. Mm. They were humble. Mm. So humble people. Uh, can accept the gospel mm. Mm. Uh, easily, easily, easier than uh, mm. um, proud, proud uh, people. Mm. So, uh, 
so yeah. Okay. Uh, according to verse twenty four, some were convinced by what. Paul said, but others would not believe. Uh, this verse comforted me uh, because even Paul could not uh, <laughs> change the heart of the people. <laughs> even though Paul uh, persuaded and preached the gospel, some of them did not accept. So we did not be uh, hurt by unbelievers. Yeah, The proud people cannot do not accept the gospel. Some are convinced, but others uh, do not believe. It's the <laughs> same now. Paul was not uh, frustrated. He changed this direction. Oh, God's will is for Gentiles. Uh, according to Romans chapter 11, uh, by helping Gentiles to repent their sins, and then Jewish people will be jealous of Gentiles and they will come back to the Lord. It's God's uh, strategy. He accepted. So always he was very positive. He was not uh, influenced by the reality. Uh, with the big picture, he had a great vision. And he uh, you know, helped uh, Gentiles, yeah, and newcomers, uh, even though he can take a long time, yeah. Any comment, question number five, Paul's viewpoint or Paul's decision? So this, uh, oh, this portion from Isaiah, mm. uh, Jesus also used this, this of Isaiah mm. when people did not accept his word. Mm. I think that this, uh, when it also, yeah, God also told Isaiah that mm. people may not accept mm. uh, the Bible message. Mm. I think whenever you know the word of God is rejected, uh, people wanted to. This is a very popular verse to quote. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Doctor Sean, go ahead. Paul was a uh, very constant kevin he did his best mm. persuaded explaining from mm. morning to evening mm. some agree mm. good and some disagree mm. and finally this they were all going mm. why ah yeah so he could see this uh, roman ministry Finished all because of the <laughs> rejection that uh, no more. But he uh, saw God, mm. he closed the door, and God is opening a new door. Mm. And he remembered uh, how Jesus called him. Mm. I was sending you to the Gentiles. So he saw the Jewish people he loved, but they continually rejecting and rejecting. He saw God's will mm. and how God is using Jewish people to rejection mm. to go up for Roman people. Mm. So yeah. the people, God's servants, wisdom maybe. Mm. can try really very hard mm. and God close the door mm. we press and we'll break ourselves mm. ah, Lord you are opening the new door I believe and yeah. we mm. Amen uh, Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse uh, 16 says to those who responded to gospel with faith He's the messenger of life. But to those who reject Jesus, the preacher adds to their condemnation. Uh, to the one, we are the aroma of death, to death. Uh, and to the other, aroma of life, to life. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what uh, the people respond. Uh, but 
only we preach the gospel, those who accept the gospel, to them, our gospel message will be aroma of life. But uh, if uh, they do not respond or they uh, reject the gospel, it is the aroma of death. So somehow we should preach the gospel. We don't know their response, but uh, God will use our message as aroma. Yeah. Okay, final question I will uh, answer. Describe Paul's continuing ministry in Rome. Uh, what was the main content of his uh, past uh, preaching? Uh, what can we learn from Paul in Rome about God's way of walking? According to verse 30 and 31, for two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came uh, to see him. Paul welcomed all the people and he preached the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. Wow. He uh, preached the gospel with all boldness and without hindrance. Wow. Mm. Regardless of the response, he always preached the gospel very boldly. Uh, uh, what is the meaning of without uh, hindrance? Without hindrance. Uh, I think if he uh, preached the gospel in the mm. street of the Rome, mm. uh, he, he would face many hindrances mm. in the street. Mm. Uh, Many top guys mm. uh, and some Bulangbe yeah. <laughs> <But, laughs> gangsters. <laughs> but uh, his ministry, uh. his uh, rented house, mm. rented house uh, was his his own. Mm. His mm. own. So uh, anyone uh, yeah, could not. Um, mm. disturb or mm. hinder him. Mm. So, uh, ministry ministry in the in, uh, rented house mm. uh, was cast strategy. Mm. Uh, cast strategy. Mm. Yeah, anyone could not stop and bother. Yeah. yeah, because he spoke the gospel very boldly, uh, with conviction. Anyone could not touch or disturb and ban. Yeah. I I uh, have learned a lot. If we uh, preach the gospel in the campus, we uh, it's easy for us to be uh, afraid of campus police and yeah, unbelievers. But we need not worry about yeah? if we have a, a bold uh, attitude and conviction, who can uh, stop us? Yeah. Nowadays, some retired shepherds in our center, they are very bold, bold in preaching the gospel. They are mm. over 60, 62, mm. 63. We did not expect that they would join in our fishing ministry, but they are very passionate. Wow, we are free. So let's go to mm. campus. <laughs> they never mind. <laughs> yeah. And they uh, bring the small uh, flower mm, vessel uh, and they give them and they are pleased. And some uh, students are matched, uh, connected to Anton Bible study. Yeah. So they are very creative and very bold. Yeah. Ajuma spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The final sentence is very encouraging. With all boldness and without hindrance. So uh, the acts uh, should be continued through us in this generation. Yes. Now our mission 
uh, some countries, 40 years. Mm. Most of the Latin country now, 30 years. Mm. And we see still no successor. Or, and uh, we will have a, a Latin uh, directors conference, something. Mm. Many of them in 18 countries. Uh, they may not have many to report something. Hmm. What Paul did was uh, two years, you know, comparing with our mission is 30 years, 40 years, he had them two years not hmm. going to campus or going around. Hmm. And he limited the people who come to his house. Hmm. He did one to one. And he was, uh, I went to the place where Paul was chopped down, executed, mm. and then one post here. Paul was in chains, uh, executed. So what Paul did uh, a whole year, two or two years and a half in Rome, comparing with the big Rome, mm. the two thousand of history, of, it seems very small. Mm. I think it is not small. Mm. What he did two years, not hundreds or thousand people, but uh, several people he did. I think it is not in vain. Mm. God changed the wrong. Mm. Uh, so, what we are doing sometimes uh, is a very small thing. Mm. Uh, Paul did uh, as much as we can do, we do mm. the people God gave us with all our heart, mm. and trusting God's hand. I think in God's time, it will be helpful. Mm. Uh, must have seen. Mm. Uh, we see he is in the mm. Paul, um, tiny, must have seed planted. Mm. It's not, not a small thing in vain. Mm. Amen. Yeah. He planted a small seed and uh, 280 years later, uh, Roman Empire accepted Christianity. And uh, la later, uh, they proclaimed the uh, official religion of Rome is Christianity. They proclaimed, mm -hmm. yeah. Roman Empire was so big, but uh, it uh, surrendered to uh, gospel message. So it uh, started from uh, Untum Bible study in rent house. Uh, so uh, we have to follow this uh, ministry. Then someday whole world will be evangelized. Uh, in God's time and God's way. Okay, thank you all of you. Uh, Dr. Henry, would you pray for us finally? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, Apostle Paul uh, who went to Rome uh, after a long journey and uh, stayed in his uh, rented house mm. and uh, proclaimed the kingdom of God mm. and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, um, at the time, uh, the world was Roman world, mm. and the Israelites uh, hoped that the Messiah would come mm. and restore the kingdom of Israel. Mm. And people's aspiration was very limited to uh, their nationalistic uh, revival mm. and uh, independence and survival. Mm. But uh, Paul uh, was very uh, spiritual. He knew. Mm -hmm. uh, that the uh, kingdoms of this world mm -hmm. will rise and wane and uh, only temporal, but the mm -hmm. kingdom of God uh, is uh, eternal mm -hmm. and our ultimate uh, living hope and living yeah. hope for all people. Mm -hmm. So he uh, delivered this uh, universal uh, message 
of the uh, kingdom of God, only kingdom that can mm. uh, stand to the end uh, for mm. all people uh, as uh, their only hope. Mm. Uh, and it is uh, done uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, yeah. Father, please give us um, uh, this Paul's uh, grand uh, uh, gospel message. Uh, mm. Father, uh, help us not to be nationalistic or just the local or uh, limited to our own culture, but mm. uh, have um, uh, Paul's uh, universal message of the kingdom of God mm. uh, that is applicable to all peoples of all nations and mm. invite uh, people to mm. be citizens of this kingdom and uh, through uh, having faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, mm. uh, as Paul uh, uh, deliver this gospel boldly uh, without hindrance. Mm -hmm. Lord, for this fourth semester, help us to deliver this gospel message mm -hmm. uh, boldly and without hindrance on mm -hmm. campus. Mm -hmm. And also, especially our student leaders also, they may be inspired mm -hmm. to invite their friends and uh, classmates mm -hmm. uh, to Bible study and Sunday worship service mm -hmm. that not only uh, our retired uh, uh, shepherds and shepherdesses may work, but mm -hmm. also our students may uh, bring their sheep to uh, Bible study. Lord, uh, please uh, grant uh, uh, wonderful uh, leadership to Pastor uh, Nehemiah Kim and uh, all our uh, Korean uh, step shepherds and raise them as a uh, modern day Apostle Pauls uh, mm -hmm. who can uh, share the uh, kingdom of God and our Lord Jesus Christ to all mm. peoples of all nations. Mm. Also, Lord, uh, be with our American missionaries. We are indeed uh, uh, in modern day Rome, America, and mm. uh, uh, give us um, uh, not to be uh, succumb to American uh, dream or culture, but have a living hope of the kingdom of God and uh, devote ourselves uh, to. Uh, preach the gospel and also raise the disciples of Jesus. We thank you for uh, giving us this time. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Uh, see you next week. Yeah. Thank God you. bless you.